Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Turn Right Machine Works. My name is Keith, and uh, this is Steam Wagon Ho Part Four. All right, uh, we're we're getting ready. We've already cut our one side. We've flipped it around. We've already done that one there, and we have it between centers. We'll bring you in close because I want to show you how true the thing is running on centers. It's unbelievable. Um, but right now, I'm getting ready. Uh, I have the the shoulder already marked, uh, and I'm leaving myself plenty on both sides of that shoulder. Now, since my first printing off on the, the drawings there, um, there was a little discrepancy on my metric uh, dimensions there, leaving uh, about five thousandths of, uh, of material missing or distributed elsewhere. And um, so I went ahead and I, I fine-tuned my math a little bit and, uh, and we got it closer. So I have... I have uh, a, a new drawing here that I'll be putting out or putting up there. Um, all right, so I'm I'm at my position now. I've got the uh, shooting star um, set so that I can come up to that shoulder where I want to, and we're gonna come on back here, and I'm good to go. Okay, before I get you looking on the rest of the cutting that we're going to be doing on that end there, um, I wanted to bring you in so that you can see. In fact, I'll, uh, I'll bring you in even closer here so you can get a good eye on that uh, indicator there. Um, now, with this running between centers here, and I, the indicator's not on zero, but it's not giving me any motion there. I'm I'm just fluctuating a tenth or two right in there. All right, and now we'll go ahead and endo this thing. And the same thing there, no motion. All right. Now my conclusion, I, why we were having a little bit of run out on the centers here, even though we were chucking up, dialing in one end and then running it on the center of the other end, there's enough um, a firmness or, or stoutness to holding it in the fore jaw that it was taking every bit of little flex play or whatever that you might have in the tailstock to bed, everything all the way progressing all the way out here and to, to the other end of the, of the shaft and giving it some motion and that's what we were seeing in there that's the only explanation i can have because now we're turning right between centers and the thing is dead nuts okay um all right so we're going to get back to turning on that side there and then we're going to turn down we're going to start on that one there we're going to turn down the first shoulder here down to just about finish size because we want to go ahead and run it in a one inch collet and then we can go ahead and get our parting and grooving tool and do some plunge cuts that are going to get these other diameters on. All right, so let's get back over here and start cutting on this thing here so we can get into the next interesting part of this job.
Okay, we should be down about 21. You can see it with a lot, it, it started smoothing out in here, but that right there is a, almost a sideways neural finish there. Okay, got like 30 there. <laughs> Okay, about 17. <laughs> okay, we're right down there to one and a half, plus about three, four tenths. Okay, we're rough down each side. This is approximately double what this is. This is uh, 143 thousandths uh, thickness, and that'll finish up at that diameter. But right now, we're leaving plus material on there for the roughing or general purpose of, of roughing out this material and getting it down, but leaving it close so that we, we can come down with the finishing touches all at once, our diameters and our faces, um, and still have you know material there to cut we don't want to make something so close that we can't you want to be if you have to fudge a couple thousands here or there you want to be able to fudge it so we got plus material on there now all right let's go to the drawing and we're going to show you our next step down that we're going to be cutting on this one okay th here's that sh that diameter here that we were looking at and this is the 143 by uh 1633 on the diameter okay what we're going to do now is uh, we got this 413, we'll add that to the uh, 1240. And so from that face into that first shoulder there, uh, minus the same as we minus down here, you know, about 50,000 shy of that there. We're going to turn our diameter down to one inch so that it'll fit into a one inch collet. Uh, our finished dimension on that will be 984, which is 25 millimeter. But for right now, for holding purposes and giving us the strength and the accuracy to keep machining this thing and to run our plunging cut, we're going to take that 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 parting um, and uh, grooving tool, and we're going to be able to come in and we're going to be able to get alongside these shoulders uh, right down into the root, and we'll be able to come in and then machine to that that clearance that we give ourselves in there, so that we uh, we're not we're not coming we're not plunging and coming into a blind. Uh, uh, corner there. We'll have a little bit of freedom to to do that by plunging in our our grooves Where we need to on each side of those uh, flanged or raised areas you have a an uh, The wheel fits on here. This is a bearing surface here And then this is basically the clearance in between the sprocket and the inside of the uh, the bearing retainer on that side there Okay, we got uh, about four Four thousands to take off of here. It's pretty warm, but four thousands. We're gonna skim off of here, and then we're gonna dress that face off of there, and we'll be ready to put this one in the collet, going the other direction. But we'll go ahead and we'll set up the other one, and we'll do the same after we do this. All right, and there we go. Okay, and that mic, where did it, here it is. And there we go, we're a couple tenths under. That's great. Okay, we've already assembled our collet unit in here and we're taking one of our two shafts. We're putting it all the way in against that face, that shoulder there. And then we're going ahead and locking it in. We might want to give that a little more tension there. Mm 
there we go okay now we'll move on our center in here okay we just don't want nothing in there I blew out the center but I didn't blow off the uh, the center itself okay all right we're running pretty nice right there all right let me put this away here okay all right and we're coming in we're coming in the same distance and we're giving ourselves the one inch diameter at this end all right and we go ahead and we're, we're coming in one inch 550 it, that leaves us plenty all right and we'll clear that off and I always do that because I like I like to have the visual here and and it it, it catches things by your eye if you're just not happen to be glancing at it. All right, now what we're gonna see now is I'm doing the same exact feed. Now we were able to turn 30, 35 thousandths off the diameter at one time before we get chatter. I want to see if we can get a little bit more. Now that we're in the collet and we're in the center, we're a little shorter, it should be a little stouter, we should be able to hog off a little bit more. Let's take a look. A lot better. That's almost uh, 80 thousands right there. Okay, I'm gonna bring you around on the side so you can watch the chips uh, flowing. It does a little tiny bit of chatter, but that's, like I said, that was, um, Okay, we were going from uh, 1,500 until 1,400. So we were, <laughs> we're, we're almost 50,000 a side. That's pretty darn good. All right. Okay, quick check. What do we got here? Oh, we should still have this is 150 or so. I thought we were getting down to our last 50 here. And uh, we're at like 148, so we're holding good. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Okay, I'm reading 49.
I got 48 right there. We're going to leave about uh, 8,000 for our last cut. Okay, one last double check here. And just under eight. Okay, let's break out that parting tool. Okay, let's go ahead and start putting some grooves in this, which is going to start shaping out um, where the bearing is going to be going and the, the, the cutout of the center of this gets taken all the way down to um, 866. And then we have, one, uh, we have one diameter in here that's 866 and then we have a small diameter width of 314 that is uh, going to be down to one inch okay um, now we have our parting and grooving tool and what we want to do is the, first we're going to be working on the back side of a shoulder so we want to set this side or the the tailstock side of that tool bit flush with the end of the of the shaft now, I normally use a rigid scale, but this shaft width here, it doesn't leave me much room. So I'm using my little uh, flexible scale here <clears throat> with a half inch. And what I do is I bring my, bring my insert in close to the tool or in, in close to the part there. And then I take my scale and I just keep coming down on top of that until it just slips by like that. Now I know that I'm at least equal or I'm on the plus side of leaving a little material, whether it be a thou or two. And we can check widths and thicknesses and all of that as we go along. But for right now, going in and roughing out our positions, we want to go ahead. And so we're going to set our our uh, shooting star technology readout at zero there and we're gonna our first shoulder that's gonna be on the back side of where the wheel locates is one inch 771 so we're gonna come over here to one inch 781 we're gonna leave ourselves ten thousandths on the plus side okay now I'm gonna bring my insert in and I'm just touching the outside and that setting is at uh, an inch and a half on a diameter which is still there from touching off earlier on it um, okay so what I want to do is go ahead and plunge straight in until I get down to one inch diameter. We're gonna be matching this diameter here. It'll actually finish up at um, uh, 984, which is 25 millimeter, but we're just roughing it down to one inch for right now. So we're gonna take a plunge cut on this side, and then we're gonna come out, and we'll reset this face to the end, and we're gonna to come to the other side, minus 10,000, so we, we we're going to leave ten thousands on all of our links 
as rough dimensions right now. All right. We got power. All right, now we're just gonna be going straight in until we got one inch on the readout. Okay, we have um, a vibration there. And we're gonna go ahead and slow her down. And... Okay, that's uh, 620, let's go ahead and Let's go down to 500. I'm just seeing that when I get in closer, if it stops. Or no? Okay. We'll slow down even a little bit more. Let's go on down to 300. Okay, let's see if uh, adding in a little bit of cutting oil does anything. Not too much. Um, okay. Okay, this is A100. That doesn't sound too bad. All right, we got 80,000 to go. 70. Okay, that was down to one inch on our readout. By eyeball, it looks pretty close. All right, now let's go ahead and we're gonna set, we're gonna set um, our other side here. Not enough light dif difference there. I'm holding the scale between there because that gives me the light color versus the dark down in there. And I don't see a light gap there. So we're going to call that zero. All right, and this distance that we're coming over is two inches, 85 thousandths. And we're just going two inches, 75 thousandths, holding back uh, 10. Now, this groove that we're actually cutting here is 314, so um, by putting that there, I'm showing that I'm 300 or, or a little bit under 300 by the scale, so I'm going uh, I'm going to go with that.
Uh, just before we get too far in there, let's go ahead and let's grab our calipers. Two hundred ninety-five thousand something. You know that's, that's where we planned it. That tool's cutting okay at that speed. Sometimes you got to sacrifice your speed for your rigidity. Sixty thousand to go, fifty, forty, thirty, twenty. There we go. Okay, now this center section right here, th this insert that I have is one oh one. Okay, and this is ninety two thousand, so we should be able to take that right out and we can just eyeball that side to side. Now this entire groove will probably be finishing with this tool coming in down one side across the bottom and down the other side and matching. This is basically a a relief in the shaft between the shoulders. I'm going side to side there as I'm going because I just want to look at it blending. I'm coming down, I only have five thousands left. That's one thousands left. All right. All right, I'm gonna grab a nice clean pair of needle nose pliers so I can reach those chips in there or a scribe. Scribe sometimes hooks and lets you break them and get them out of there. And then uh, we'll go ahead and we'll take a brush and we'll clean that and get a good look down in there. Okay, I'm going to reach down in there. Yeah, and we can just grab those. Little chips there. And... There we go. We take a brush and we just kind of clean that. And now let's go ahead and let's check... Well, does our micrometer fit down in there? Yes, it does. Anytime you can, I'm gonna go ahead and move this over to the side. Anytime you can, the micrometer is gonna give you a better reading than a pair of calipers, no matter what. And we're just looking. This this should be somewhere around one inch right here, and it's uh, one inch four and a half thousandths. Okay, back here we're going to be setting our zero to our other side again. There they are. I, I can see on the scale here, it's almost, um, it, it's 101 is the width of that, and uh, and so I am, I'm just going back and forth between 101 and 0 either side. All right, our, uh, the, the next side of our shoulder um, is uh, 2 inch 183, so we'll be going uh, 2 inch 193. $2,000 
two inch 193 and if we uh, we stick our scale down here this is supposed to be uh, 98 thousandths and uh, so it's just uh, that's about one one hundred thousandths right now a little bit better which is right okay now this diameter goes down to 866 so we can we can bring this one down to um, we can just rough it down to let's rough it down to 900 on the diameter uh, will be a hundred thousandths um, on a diameter more than uh, we just did on that last plunging there. <laughs> Okay, we're at one inch there. We're going down to 900. 930, 920, 915, 95, 9, or 900. Okay, now this this thing is almost 1200. So 1200. Our next groove is going to be our next groove is going to be out here. Okay. So let's uh, let's clean this off. Come over here, reset our zero again, which we know that if we put this in here, we can get rid of the light right there. All right, and uh, that one is going to be three inches, 383, and we're gonna wanna make it shy 10, so it'd be 373. Three, 373. Oh, I got carried away carrying that over there. Okay. Right there, and that would be one two hundred in here, between there and there, and that's definitely uh, leaving us room there. That was uh, one inch, and this is going down to uh, 900. There we go. Okay, and 98,000 is over from this. All right, and that dimension there is three inches, four eighty-one, and we'll go four ninety-one. There we go.
All right. So from here to there, that gets undercut to, to uh, we'll rough it down to 900. And this gets roughed out to 900 right here. That's all roughed out right there. All right. And now we'll endo this thing. And we're going to put that same, those same grooves, exactly those all, all on this side here. Okay. Let's go ahead and we're going to turn this part around now. And just blow out the center. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to knock out these grooves here. And then there's a couple different ways that we can go about it. We could come in and we could part, you know, go down with a parting tool like I did that one groove. And we could knock out that the materials in between, you know, here and, and this next one that's in here. But what I'll probably do is because it's so easy to endo end this, this, I'll just go ahead and I'll take my D&M uh, tool and I'm going to come in and I'll just come in and hug because this is so narrow. I can come in and I can work this way. We can flip the part around and we can work the, you know, work against our shoulders uh, on the uh, right hand side of our shoulders and pretty well whittle out things by just flipping this over probably two times, three times. All right. Um, which doesn't hurt on the indicate uh, locating because we're between the collet and we're in the, the tailstock, which there's no indicating necessary or needed uh, for that. Okay, here we go. We're just going right back to the same thing we did on the other side. And we're going to recheck this. And we're, we're sitting within two thousands. All right. I'm going to come over to our first one here. And our first one was 171. And we wanted... Uh, uh, 1781. There we go. And we just got to go down to one inch here. We're going to continue grooving both of these here and get it all set up and uh, for our next setup. And we'll bring you back in when we're ready to start hogging off our areas down to our cutouts.